you guys. Today I'm going to do my ghetto views. I haven't done these in a while, so I decided that I would go on and get this one on out the way. It's been some real crazy stuff happening in, the, in on the internet, you know, in the world or whatever. And I just haven't really been talking about it because things have just been crazy in my home. And the heat has been going crazy here in Vegas. Like, we have been getting up to... 115, 116 in the um, weather, so it's been draining hot. Um, but it's been a lot of things going on that I wanted to address. So for all my new people that has been um, subscribing, thank you for subscribing to my channel. But my ghetto views is where I talk about things in the news, on the blogs. People have sent links to me, and I just give you my opinion on the topics. Um... Before I start, I just want to let you guys know that the Scorpion Show is having their fourth um, Scorpion Show barbecue, August the 20th, I believe. I'm not sure of the times. So you have to go to Kevin um, or Mikhail to find that out. Um, but it's going to be in Philly, and they have a GoFundMe account for everybody that wants to donate. So I encourage you, if you are a fan of the Scorpion Show, to donate or attend the Scorpion Show. I know it's like quick notice, but we found out at the blackout. So um, I'm all about supporting. I'm all about supporting my boo Kevin. Like I love me some Kevin. He like really inspired me on this YouTube channel. So I really want you guys to support. Like I said, if you guys can't attend, you know, donate with the GoFundMe. Um, speaking of GoFundMe, I will be deactivating my GoFundMe because after all of the drama. With the whole blackout. And y'all know how hard it was for me to even make the GoFundMe account. I, I don't have time for the negativity. So I'd rather just get it the way I've been trying to get it. And deal with it that way. I just don't like negativity. And I understand a lot of people were giving me very positive feedback. From my less aggressive video. But I just... When it comes to negativity, I just rather get erase it out of my life and keep it pushing. So, I will get the funds the best way that I know how. We're going to keep grinding out, out here like we've been doing. I don't have time. Um, so, speak in what else I wanted to mention besides the Scorpion show. The, and that, okay, yeah. So, let's talk about the DNC. The DNC is going on. If you don't know what the DNC is, I don't know where you've been. But it's called the, the Democratic National Convention. It's been going on this week for the last couple of days, and I have been very, very interested. Michelle Obama's speech made me want to just jump through the screen and be like, can you please, please run for president? Like, her speeches be so inspiring, make you just want to get out there and do your services. Like, I love our first lady. She is, like, the role model of class, like, of uh, being a good mom, a good wife. Like, I just, while y'all over there standing for Beyonce, I'd rather stand for me or Michelle Obama any day. And I just really feel like she did a really, really good job. And she did what she had to do for Hillary Clinton. This whole, okay, I'm a Democrat through and through. But there is times that I look at the Republican views and I'll be like, okay, I can see where they're coming from. Because that's what you do. You see where each other coming from. You listen. With, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You see what's going on and you try to better yourself on with both parties. I'm not just the type of person to say, I'm a Democrat, so fuck the Republicans. No, there are some issues that I agree with them on. So, like I said, I was watching the Democratic um, Convention, and one thing that I do agree with the Republicans on, we don't have to harbor on Donald Trump every single speaker. Oh, my God. Yesterday, I'm telling y'all, yesterday watching it when it was Obama's night, President Obama, let me correct my own self, um, I just felt like everybody that came out was just, it was so focused on Trump that it wasn't allowing me to, you know, be so supportive for Hillary. You know what I'm saying? I understand you guys are telling me what she can do because I'm, I'm, I'm a very, I didn't give a fuck what was going on 
between Hillary and Bernie Sanders, I've always been saying that I have I support Hillary Clinton on this presidential uh, debate on this whole old campaign. I've been going for Hillary. If you guys have been following me, like I have, op I have had opportunities to go meet her while she was here in Nevada. So I've always been rocking with her. I love her women issues. I love her issues when you know saving our kids and stuff like that. So. I know I follow her career. I've been following her career for years. You know what I'm saying? So I've always I don't listen to the whole oh she racist, she this, she that. When it comes to our country, I know Miss Clinton like loves our country and is doing what she has to do for our country. Miss Clinton is like going to places where them some of the men can't get in. So I've always been rocking with her. Um but the whole every Every single speaker that gets up the whole, well, 95 of the speech is about Trump. I'm like, okay, we're not voting for him. Let's get back into what we're trying to do. Like, that's their side, the Republican side. Let them do the bashing. That's not what we're about. Democrat, to me, is about, like, it was a speaker, I think it was today or yesterday, it was saying how, um, when it comes to the Democratic Party, we are about nurturing, helping our man, our fellow man, and making sure everybody is okay, making sure we all have health care coverage and stuff like that. So that's what I want the campaign to be about. I don't want the campaign from the Democratic Party to be on slander, like, because that makes people say, we don't want to vote. Like, we don't have time for this back and forth bullshit. Like, that's how I look at it. Um, when President Biden spoke... I love him. I love him. He has like, he's like one of them friends that just have no filter. So I like him. Um, the vice president I thought was a goofball. I think, yes, okay, he was trying to have the comedic relief with the DNC. But I just felt like young people don't know you. Black people don't really know you. I really want to see him being strong. Like, Biden... It's, you know, humorous, but we can tell he's strong. Like, we can tell he don't play that. With this vice president, I'm not really sure. I, I really kind of took him as a joke. Not really sure of what he can do for my country. I wasn't going to go research it either. But <laughs> I just don't get that strong man vibe with the vice president like I'll get from Biden and President Obama and President Clinton, or even fucking President Bush, and I don't even like him. But, you know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted him to be more strong and more stern when it came to his speeches and stuff like that. I'm not saying he didn't do a good job. I just didn't want it to be all about bashing Trump and being humorous. Um, I didn't get to see the, the uh... Hillary Clinton speaks today because my kids have been watching Disney and cartoons and stuff. So I'm going to watch it tonight. But, yeah, I'm really into the DNC. I'm really supporting Hillary Clinton. Yes, I've seen the whole uh, Melania little thing of trying to be um, Hillary. I mean, trying to be Michelle. But I'm, I was so over it when it happened because... Twitter, like, the whole internet destroyed her, so I was like, if there's no need for me to talk about it, because she's getting the backlash that she deserves. Um, what else I want to talk about the DNC? I think that's it. Other than that, um, I, I'm, I'm here for it. Oh, what I did want to say about that, when a lot of people is so still on the whole Bernie Sanders slow thing, get over it. He... <laughs> He ain't going to be the president. Get over it. Start getting behind the, the, the person that's the nominee. Get behind Hillary, whether you like it or like her or not. Because I feel like if you don't vote for her, or you say you're not voting, that is a vote for Trump. And to me, if you don't vote or you're telling me that's who you're going for, and I'm going to look at you a little sideways. So if you are 18 and over, go vote. Rather... It, it ain't Hillary you vote for. Rather, it's another name that we don't know about that be on the ballot. But just go vote and don't vote for Trump. I'll be okay. But that's all I have to say about the DNC. Um, because I had to talk about that because that's something that's important going on in the world. 
um, Nia Green, Nia Green, whatever her name is, the young lady that had got whooped on Facebook Live. A lot of people might be mad, but I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on how I feel about this whole fucking situation. Because I couldn't even watch the whole video. I, I'm, if you know me and been watching my channel, I'm not with shaming your kids. That's not what I'm about. I feel like I love my kids enough to not try to shame them for the world. I really, really hate. I used to hate when my grandma used to go to church when we used to do something bad and go testify. So I really, really hate when a person get on camera and do this to their kids. To me, we all got whoopings and didn't kill none of us. So, okay, they... I'm all here for whooping your kids when they get out of fucking line. I'm so here for it. But what I'm not here for is you whooping them on camera or even allowing somebody to be in the same room with you with a camera. Mm -mm. I'm not here for that type of shit. I'm not here for, oh, I'm going I'm to show her and she's not going to do this no more. That's not going to stop her from fucking. That's not going to stop her from being bad. That's not. Like, I don't know why parents think in shaming your kids on the internet is the right thing to do. If anything, bitch, you're black, first of all. So if anything, so, CPS is going to be at your door so fucking quick while you thinking you doing the right thing. That is the easiest way for them to have some kind of reason to come take your child or other kids that's in the home. That you thinking you love them other kids, but they still take all your fucking kids if you have more. Like, I'm not with giving outsiders the opportunity to come in here and take my fucking kids on some kids that I worked hard for to have and to make sure they straight. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. This is worse than just your kids going to school lying or something or saying that, oh, my mama gave me a bruise and the nurse called. No, because, like, the, now it's evidence that you fucked her up. And not only did you whoop her, you didn't just whoop her. You whoop, you beat the girl like she was some girl on the streets that you didn't have no love for. You didn't have no care in the world for. That's what I have a problem, too, with these parents is beating up on their kids like they're not theirs. I will never beat up. Unless my life is in danger with my kids, I know how to hold my composure with my kids. I know how to be like, you know what, you better go on somewhere before I really, really hurt you. I know how to run up on my kids and stop my fucking self. Because there's been times I got boys, so. Shit, I got a daughter that I will run up on, and, but I have to stop myself. Like, uh-uh. I'm not going to put my hands on somebody that I love. Because I know the damage that I can do. And then it's not only damage that you're doing physically. What are you doing to your child mentally? I don't understand these stupid ass parents these days. I really, really don't. But that's my opinion on that situation. Bow wow stupid. Bow wow mixed. Bow Wow dumb. This is why he's going to be always known as Little Bow Wow. He don't know nothing about no civil rights and all that because he's mixed. Go get pulled over and ask them if you mixed. Go in some of these companies that don't know who you are as a celebrity and say you mixed. Nigga, everybody is mixed with something. Every fucking body. Whether it's down from, passed on from a, a, a skip generation, we all mixed with something. Nobody is pure any fucking more. Nobody. So I, I, I just wasn't, I just wasn't here for it. I just wasn't here for it. Um, what else? Black China and Rob. This is why I don't get in this whole thing with celebrities and when they get together and when they don't get together and when they break up, have a baby, get married. I don't get into this type of stuff because they get together, they haven't been together long and it's already been a fight. They are he removed her pictures on Instagram, then they back together. I, this is why I don't and when people send me links to these type of situations, I'll be like, I don't care. 
because when it comes to celebrities, these motherfuckers change draws like like they take a, you know they change they change spouses and boyfriends and girlfriends like they change draws. So I don't get into them. When y'all get longevity, then you be like, oh shit, like really, like this one divorce that's going on with Mary J. Blige and her husband. I was like, damn, like they've been together for a little minute. So you be like, oh that's fucked up. But not when Black China and Rob get into it. Not when Sierra and Russell, I'm not saying that they having problems, but what I'm saying is their relationship is fresh. So I don't speak on it. Um, speaking of, y'all know, I, I remember when I was like, right before I went to the blackout or when I was at the blackout, I was hearing rumors about Tamar cheating on Vince and it might be some problems. But then I heard about Tiny and T.I. and how he cheated on her. And then... This week, it was um, Keisha Knight Podium and Ed Hartwell and being a Mary J. Blige or whatever. And I'm like, and then this Toya and Memphis, they finally filed for divorce. So I'm sitting there like, damn, it's all Tamar friends going through some shit? Like, was it because all y'all was on, on vacation together? I don't know. Like, all y'all going through some shit? I know y'all parties gonna be a gang of just crying and ice cream. Because I'm like, Damn, the whole crew? And I don't know how true it is with Tiny and and um, T.I. Because it's always been rumors about their open relationship or him doing some bullshit. But the whole Rudy Huxbull and Ed Hartwell, y'all see I didn't get excited at the beginning of the year when they said they was um, together because I felt like, um, sorry, I felt like that was too soon. Like, damn, was she just dating Big Tigger or whatever? Like, when the fuck did she start dating Ed Hartwell? Then all of a sudden, it's, oh, she's pregnant. Now it's, oh, she's getting a divorce. Oh, I don't think the baby is mine. Oh, he know the baby is his. I've been wanting to divorce him. Anybody got time for that? Then you got Lisa Wu on her show saying how fucked up it was when they got together and how cool they used to be. I'm like, wow. I was just like, really? Wow. Um. Okay, my bad. Sorry, I got a message. But, yeah, I just don't, mm -mm, I don't get into it with all them people, and I didn't give a fuck. I hope she has a healthy baby, and that's about it. Um, Taylor Swift and Kanye, I don't care. I hate Kanye, and I just really hope. They worked that shit out. I'm not getting paid by either one of them suing each other or whatever the fuck they got going on, so I really don't care. Um, shows that I've been watching, I've been watching Greenleaf. I just haven't been all the way caught up. I think I'm on, like, episode five. Um, I really like that show because it really shows you a lot of shit that goes on in the black household and in the black churches. So I really, really enjoy that show. I was going to review it, but I had missed so much and I haven't been caught up. So that's the only reason why I haven't reviewed that show. But go check out, like, Ashley Miller and Lady Nika and them. They be talking about it, so go check out their channels. Um, Married at First Sight just started back with season four. I love that show. Um... I haven't got to watch it, but I'm going to watch it probably tonight or in the morning. I love Married at First Sight. I think it's a crazy-ass show. I wouldn't be able to do it, but I really like the show and how people get to know each other and learn each other. I think some of these celebrities need to go on here because they be finding out about their damn spouse. Just as long as these people are married at first sight be finding out about if they want to be with their spouse. I'm just saying. Um, Hollywood Divas, I have been watching that. I like, uh, what's her name, Malika? I like her. I think she's not made for this show because she has this innocence to her. And I don't think that she fits with them. She's not, nah, she don't fit with them. Now, her best friend, oh boy, he fits with them with his messy ass, but no. Paula Crazy than a motherfucker. This is probably why I can't review this show because I cannot deal. With Paula, and I can't deal with Golden. And this time, I really start not to like Countess. I don't know what the fuck is up with Countess, but I am not liking the way she act. I'm not liking the way she treat Malika. Yes, maybe it was when you guys were little, 
when you did that to her. But just acknowledge that you did it to her. Not just get a stank-ass attitude when she told you that you treated her wrong the first time y'all met. Acknowledge that you did it and move on. And I'm with Malika. Like, stop talking to everybody else about how um, I said something to you and come to me. Like, so I was with that. Um, well, who else is on that show? Lisa. I don't care. She don't make the show. She doesn't. It's not like, ooh. Um, but, yeah, I don't deal with Paula and Forrest. I don't, I can't. I don't like them. Bell House of New Jersey, only reason why I'm not reviewing that show is because I don't got time for, <laughs> I don't have time for the whole Teresa storyline. I don't have time, no, it's draining. It's fucking draining. Um, so, yeah, I can't deal with but, yeah, that's all I have on my ghetto views this week. Sorry, it's not longer, but I haven't gave you guys one, so I just want to give you guys one. But, like I said, don't forget the Scorpion Show, 4th Barbecue, August the 20th. They have a GoFundMe, PayPal, and they're, um, they want you to bring school supplies. So, like I said, if you can't make it, donate. Um, there's some other events that I wanted to bring on, but I think I'm going to wait for Support Tuesday for that. Um, and y'all follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto view, T-H-A, not T-H-E. And I will talk to y'all in the next video because it's hot as hell. Alright, peace.